Registered Phenomena Code 602 Object Class Beta White Hazard Types Organic Grouped Contact Sensory Containment Protocols As RPC-602 is only dangerous to humans when ingested, and its ability to generate RPC-602-2 can lead to the exponential spread of RPC-602-1 over theoretically international distances. Containment of the anomaly is focused on reducing the risk of the spread of RPC-602-2. RPC-602 is contained in a standard research division airtight pressure vessel, enclosed within a concrete plug on an area empty ground 3 km outside of Site-279. RPC-602 is surrounded by an extension of the Site-279 perimeter fence, creating a safe radius of 35 km around it. The fencing is topped with razor wire and security cameras. Should any unauthorized personnel attempt to breach its perimeter, they are to be apprehended and amnesticized by site security staff. To minimize the risk of the creation of RPC-602-2 instances, Site-279's cafeterias and catering facilities are forbidden from producing any foodstuff which includes jams, fruit, or vegetable preserves, or products made from boiled fruits or vegetables. Carrying such foodstuffs on the Site-279 for any purpose is an offense punishable by docking of pay and revocation of vacation time. Personnel on Site-279 who experience RPC-602-1 at any time must report such experience to their supervisors. The site will subsequently be locked down and swept for any possible instances of RPC-602-2. RPC-602-2 instances are to be destroyed via incineration whenever feasible. Note, since RPC-602's reclassification as TBA-NERGAL, all TBA-related containment protocols are in effect. For further information, consult pamphlet CTBA-01, Continental Apocalypse, Transcendental Breakfast Anomalies and You, available at your home site's OAS Information Retrieval Desk. RPC-602 is an anomalous fruit preserve which demonstrates mimetic properties. RPC-602 consists of 257 milliliters of fruit preserve composed from mundane cane sugar and a fruiting berry believed to be a hitherto undiscovered heirloom variety of Fragaria vesca. The Wild Strawberry Amino acid dating of samples of RPC-602 indicate that it is on the order of 25,000 years old. Despite the jammed great age, it is not rotted or desiccated with time, and demonstrates anomalous antifungal and antibacterial properties. Any bacterial, chemical, or fungal sample mixed with a sample of RPC-602 is immediately converted into an equal mass of chemically pure water vapor with no release of heat associated. Research into this effect as a basis for a medical aid or source of power generation is ongoing. When consumed by a conscious human being, RPC-602 induces RPC-602-1, an immediate, auditory and visual hallucination which takes effect the moment the jam encounters any portion of the body's mucous membranes. RPC-602-1 can also be induced nasally, orally, or anally. The contents of RPC-602-1 are always the same, based on interviews and transcription from 43 different test subjects. RPC-602-1 is experienced in two parts. First, an auditory and visual hallucination, RPC-602-1A which will always involve the experience of speech in the subject's native language, and second, a purely auditory hallucination, RPC-602-1B. RPC-602-1 is accompanied by several minor side effects, notably mild paralysis for the duration of the hallucination, uncontrollable saliva production which can cause respiratory distress in some cases, and a strong gustatory hallucination of a strawberry flavor. Subjects who are allergic to strawberries react to RPC-602 as they would to any product containing mundane strawberries. When any fruit or vegetable preserve of any kind is brought within an approximately 32 km radius of RPC-602, 
it immediately becomes an instance of RPC-602-2. Testing has determined that fruit or vegetable preserve in this case means any foodstuff composed partially or entirely of boiled plant matter which has subsequently been mashed, stirred, or mixed. This category includes jams, chutneys, conserves, confits, jellies, marmalades, fruit butters, tomato-based sauces, etc. RPC-602-2 are chemically and physically identical to their original form, save that they also cause any fruit or vegetable preserved within a 32 km radius to become instances of RPC-602-2 and, when ingested, trigger RPC-602-1. It can thus be concluded that improper handling of RPC-602 could lead to a scenario in which all fruit and vegetable preserves on Earth are converted into RPC-602-2, thereby causing a containment breach of catastrophic proportions. Discovery RPC-602 was discovered during routine excavation work for the construction of a new parking lot wing on Site Chile on 2017. The anomaly was discovered emanating from a fissure in a natural nice strata, and was collected by site containment personnel during their work. Chemical testing of the surrounding stone revealed that it had not been exposed to air for more than 25,000 years, thus placing the arrival of RPC-602 on the location long before human settlement of South America. The substance was initially classified as a Type 6 out-of-place artifact. OPA, before a containment CSD tasted it and experienced RPC-602-1. Type 6 Construction unclear, human used, undiscovered The creation of RPC-602-2 instances was discovered soon after the end of construction, but the relative isolation of the site and the presence of mind of its personnel kept RPC-602-2 from spreading. Document. RPC-602-1A Contents The following is a transcript of the first section of RPC-602-1, with added descriptions derived from accounts of test subjects. View of a desolate desert environment, with a sun rising over it that looks like a big fried egg. Comparisons of the sun in RPC-602-1A to a fried egg have occurred in all test cases. Attend, O mortals! To the words of the great and primeval Urjam, first among condiments, preserve of ages, marmalade of eternity, god king of breakfast spreads. The voice which accompanies RPC 602 1A has been described as uncomfortably loud, echoing, and possessing a faint but recognizable British accent. Since the first morning, when the first breakfast was consumed, have I waited to return to the realm of mortals. View of two pieces of white bread spread with red jam, three slices of bacon, half an orange and a substance resembling scrambled eggs sitting on a rock, which appears to be radiating a visible white gold aura. Two depressions in the rock contain a quantity of a dark brown liquid believed to be coffee, and a cereal dish of grains floating in some kind of milk. Attend and observe consumers of breakfast, as I dispense for thee the untold wisdom of the ages that thou might brunch forevermore. The desert landscape fades from view, replaced with an endless field of person-sized pancakes, piled haphazardly atop each other. Your morning apotheosis is at hand, verily the urjam, the forbidden fruit product, the bather of toast, do announce that… RPC-602-1 A ends abruptly accompanied by intense visual distortions followed by momentary loss of sight until the end of RPC-602-1B. Document RPC-602-1B Contents This second portion of the RPC-602-1 hallucination is characterized by temporary loss of vision and noticeably poor auditory quality. Subjects have described the voice in the hallucination as scratchy or tinny accompanied by rustling papers and what is believed to be street noise. In all cases, 
The hallucination had been experienced in modern English with a Midwestern American accent. Mechanical sound, believed to be the activation of a button on a tape recording device. Uh, is this? Oh, uh, greetings, proletarians of the world. It is I, your comrade, Milford Snodgrass, champion of, uh, champion of Soviet labor. An anomalous or anomalous aware person of interest believed to be responsible for the creation of RPC-037. The Authority has yet to discover any evidence that Snodgrass, a notary public from Omaha, Nebraska, possessed any anomalous abilities or genuine connections to the international socialist movement. I have usurped this ancient and corrupt imperialistic hypercondiment to, uh, hold on. Sound of shuffling papers. Snodgrass breathes heavily for several seconds. I have usurped this ancient and corrupt imperialistic hypercondiment to spread my message of revolution to the world. Throw off your, uh, chains. Rise up and strike down the capitalist oppressors. We have the power to utilize the, uh, the strange impossibilities, like the condiment that delivers this message to you to, for the first, uh, first time in our history to destroy the corrupt, oligarchic capitalistic system and bring about a global worker's paradise. Snodgrass clears his throat. I have used the not insignificant, um, the not insignificant powers at my disposal to turn this artifact into a messenger of international brotherhood and it bears good tidings. You see, I have substantial news, an announcement that will change the course of history and send the capitalist bourgeois lapdogs howling with their tail between their legs. Y yes what I have to be announced is… RPC-6021-B abruptly ends mid-sentence. Addendum: RPC-602 Background Research and TBA Classification Several instances of RPC-037-1 have been questioned regarding their knowledge of RPC-602, or Snodgrass's involvement in its creation or alteration. RPC-037-1 instances express confusion at the concepts of jam, breakfast, and eating in general. In light of the anomaly's notable characteristics, namely its out-of-place temporal status, mimetic effects, and nature as a traditional Western morning food. RPC-602 is tentatively classified as a Transcendental Breakfast Anomaly TBA, with the specific designate Nurgle. In light of recent difficulties involving the cross-testing of TBA Imdegood RPC-577 Martian Egg Vapor, TBA Dagon RPC-919 Toast Manifestations from the Cosmos, TBA Anana, RPC Proto Olmec Baked Beans and TBA UTU RPC Dead Sea Ham. The use of RPC 602 and TBA cross testing is forbidden.